What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Extinction Core, having so much fun doing flips! Man, oh man! Guys, how you doing today? Are you doing good? I hope so, because I am doing absolutely stupendous, because I remembered, yes, last episode, we tamed up an amazing holographic, probably my favorite type of shiny. Yeah, it is just oh so cool. Um, it's an alpha RG. Yeah, it's so very neat. And we also got an alpha spectral. Look at that. Super duper cool. We got some snails. Let's just see how our cementing paste is doing. From our single snail in a single day, this is just since last night, and over 1,507 cementing paste from a single snail and then a little bit of polymer. I actually spent a little bit of polymer today, so I probably had a tad bit more, but that is not bad at all. I'm digging it. We definitely need to find some more snails, but we need to get some more sweet veggie cake. We only got one left. So, yes. Um, I also did a little bit more uh, around the base. I know it don't look like much, but um, yeah, I got all my dinos, a platform for all my dinos to, you know, kind of hang out, chill and be presentable. So pretty sweet. I also finally removed the Unbreakable mod. Yeah, I stopped using it many episodes ago, but finally got around to removing it. So pretty sweet. Anyway. Oh, and I wonder how our beetles are doing, too. How are you guys doing? We got to set up crop lot soon. Holy mother of God. It is it is basically full. Wow. So, um, yeah, don't got to worry about fertilizer no more. Uh, uh. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I just wiped the server, so we should be getting a lot of new creatures. Um, up on the map. We made the shiny finder. This is just pointing out the shiny dinos. It's a special mod that will modify um, anything from any mod anywhere. So pretty sweet. And I did happen to come across a couple of interesting things. For one, I know it's a, it's a long list. I'm not going to go through it all with you. You can kind of just stop yourself at any point in the video to, uh, you know, to see everything. But these are all the shinies that are out on the server right now. Now, I did notice there is an alpha therizinosaur, which is out there, and that is high up on our list of stuff to get. There's also another holographic of an alpha, which... We may or may not do. I am I'm not entirely sure, but you know, I'm I'm sure we could check out. Anyway, um let's kick things off. Let me grab you. Let me grab you cuz you're leveled. And um I think that'll probably be good. We have our Dilo already on us. And let's grab our big bad vulture. Yes, our prime vulture which is so far been really key in this series to be able to uh pick up all sorts of different alphas. So um, I'm going to head on out. I, I do suppose. Let's check out this Therizinosaur first. I think that would be uh, a really helpful thing. Holy crap. What else do we have? Look at that sucker. That is enraged shiny. Definitely with how big that glow is. Enraged roll rat. Let's uh, let's take this guy out real quick. I sh You know what? I should save this guy for leveling. But in case he despawns. Um, the shinies, they're only allowed to be on the map for a couple of hours before they uh, they despawn forever. So they're really rare. They're really rare. And I mean, other things too, just to show you, you can't cheat in uh, shinies either. So it just goes to show you that everything I find has to be a legit found thing. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's an extra fun thing. Uh, let's see, Prime Bolter. All right. Anyway, um, let me go locate where, oh, where in the world is this... Uh, Whoa, look at that guy. That's a sign. Where aware is this Therizinosaur? And um, yeah, let's see if we can make it our tame today. All right, guys, the shiny finder says it should be somewhere around here on these Savannah Islands. So um, yeah, let's get a hunting. This is this is the closest we can get. So kangaroos. All right, where would a Therizinosaur be? So on these islands, all sorts of crazy stuff can spawn. I usually consider these to be like the dead islands. Um, although it's not looking that bad today. I don't know. It all depends which mods you uh, you use with it and what their spawn points are set into. I think there's some really neat underwater stuff here too. So that's kind of cool. 
All right, so far, this actually looks like it could be a decent place to do knockouts. We might not even need the vulture. Oh, I see it. I see it. All right, beautiful. All right, there's a couple of apes around him. Um, what does this guy take to tame? Oh, beautiful. And that is a max level one, too. Oh, crap. I almost forgot about this. This takes Megalosaurus, uh, Megalosaurus egg to uh, to tame. Crap. And I I kind of think it's a it's a distinct possibility. How many is it going to take? Good Lord. And 47 of them. Huh? <laughs> Uh, all right. We might not get to tame this today, guys. It's going to depend on the, uh, the kibble table. Good. That's insanity. All right. Um, let's go head back to the base. I set up a teleporter for over here so we can get back quickly. Let's go back and see if we can find the kibble for it. See, here's the problem. The kibble tables have, don't like upgrade all that often. And, um... Yeah, it's it's a possibility they haven't been upgraded since that kibble got added in. If it was going to be in one, it would likely be in this one. Oh, man, look at them all. Mega, please, please, please. Oh, I think that's it. Because there's two different ones that sound. There's Megalina, there's this one, and then there's also the deer. All right, um, we're going to have to hope that this one is it. And I guess... I'm going to make 60 just to be careful because we might lose uh, like efficiency or something goofy. Oh, Lordy, this is going to take a hot second to craft. I hope it doesn't despawn. Anyway, uh, I'll get that all crafted up. And I just realized, too, you may notice in my uh, my slot, too, um, I don't have a pickaxe or a hatchet because those that, the ones I had made were both from the Unbreakable mod. And uh, yeah, as I said, I, I removed that mod. So um, we're going to have to make some new ones. So why don't we go ahead and do that while we're waiting? Let's turn this down. All right. And go. Where is it? Weapons. Uh, where would it be under melee? Maybe. Yep. There we go. All right. So let's make a new hatchet and pickaxe. Beautiful. And let me get these all upgraded. We should have. I've done tons of gathering sessions of metal. So we should have more than enough to get these guys up to top tier course fail on the first one what the crap it's a gamble every time you upgrade all right guys we are back and um i can remember just from past times playing this that uh the therizinosaur it's it's something to be definitely a little fearful of i think it can hit through the mount i know the torpor drops extremely quick so until you have the sedatives it's next to impossible to tame. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's you got to keep it asleep a long time. So, um, I don't know. We might die doing this like quite a few times. Um, we're just going to have to hope for luck. I am going to tame it right here. Um, and we're going to kind of wing it and just hope that we'll be OK. Um, let's go ahead. Grab all this stuff. All right. Let's pick up the vulture. Oh, poor little Dilo. We have to hope the Dilo can take him out. We have to hope. All right, buddy, bro. So, oh, how should we do this? We have a couple more levels. I'll go. I'll go more melee just to be safe. And let's give him some food. All right, sweet. And let's put pack away this stuff so it doesn't clog up the inventories. All right, we got the kibble, 60, more than enough. And we got tons of narcotic and we have the sedative. So between all these things, we should be in the clear. Should be. Let's give it all that. All right, beautiful. So here goes nothing. Oh, and it's got a lot, really high torpor. All right, please. And we're also on a timer. This guy, oh crap, oh crap. This guy may not stick around for too long. And we have the factor of uh, we don't want to kill it by mistake. All right. We're doing okay. I would not call it great. It's not hitting through the mount, so that's a positive. Um, Come on. Get these big hits in while we can. Let that torpor rise. All right. Bite, 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 bite. I'm just going to try and, for the most part, bite him until he's done. All right, get that one in. Bite, bite, bite. Oh, he's going to run soon. 
He's gonna run soon. And this is not the safest island either. Come on. Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, is Torpor, is it already falling? It's already falling. Look at how quick that falls. Look at how quick. All right. Bite, bite, bite. Oh, crap. Our health is not doing good. All right. We just got to get him out. We got to do this. It's better while he's running because he's not hitting us. All right. Oh, my Lord. This is so sketchy. Oh, I think I missed there. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. All right, we got to let him regen health. Oh, his Torpor is already dropping again. Oh, this is toughy. If we trapped him, it would be way easier. All right, uh, we just got to hope that we get him out here. Don't let him die. Come on. Um, We could use one of our better arrows. This would solve a lot of issues. All right. If we don't get him out here, we're going to have to let him. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's too close to being... I don't want to overhit him like we did the last guy. Oh! I think we're going to have to let him heal up all the way. All right, his his health is going up. That's a good thing. But the Torpor, just as quick as the health's going up, the Torpor is going down. All right, maybe I can clock him. No, not with that one, with this one. If we can do this, it'll prevent the Torpor from falling. All right, we got a hit. All right. Yo! Got another hit. Come on. Oh, do it again, do it again. This is perfect that he's stuck there. And he's out! Awesome! All right, any badness? Any dilos are going to creep up? All right, remember, the torpor on this guy falls quick. We got a little bit of time left. Let's uh, throw in the kibble. Let's throw in this. Starve him out. All right, and watch the torpor closely. Very closely. It's going to likely start to drop more dramatically. I don't know. Maybe it's changed where it doesn't go down as fast, but it's still making me nervous with the number of bites this guy has to take. Um, it stayed at 100. Now, it's going so quick because we starved him out using that special narcotic, but so far, so good. This is actually working out. I'm just nervous. All of a sudden, the Torpor is going to be like half gone. All right. You know what? I think we're doing okay. I think we'll be okay. Come on, bro. Watch that Torpor very closely. It might have been because of the sedative that it made it not drop as fast. But hey, this is working out great. Oh, I can remember so many times this just taking hours to try and tame one and just so many deaths. And doing perfect, doing perfect. Still at 100%. That is amazing. That hasn't dropped at all. I'm quite thrilled. This is very, very cool. Now, it does say it's a passive tame, but we don't have any of the other types of stuff. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. Relatively painless. I am so thrilled. And that is a beauty. It still looks like an alpha, even though it's a shiny. What type? It's it's called a tiger one. So it must have some type of stripes or something. But yeah, it has worked out. Let's go see if we can make ourselves a saddle. Oh, what a day. What a day. And even kibble left over. Not bad, guys. Not bad. All right, we are back at the base, and yeah, that is a really good-looking Therizinosaur. Absolutely stupendous. Now, Therizinosaurs, they are, in particular the Alphas, very important in Extinction Core because they are the absolute best harvesters that are in, uh, in this mod. So you absolutely need one and want one if you want to be able to progress quickly. Let's see if we can get the uh, better saddle so that we can get the boosted stats on it. So there is Xenosaur and yeah, it's not, it's a little pricey. It takes both the hide and the chitin, but we can do it. We can definitely do it. Um, we do have enough rubies that we probably could upgrade this guy. In fact, we could probably do an upgrade right away, but you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it just yet because if we use up all of our stuff, 
We're not going to have enough for tomorrow. We're going to have to earn it and collect it. All right, and beautiful. I'm going to get it all augmented up as high as I can. I think that's going to be 240. So, yes, very, very nice. And 240. Love it. All right, let's go throw on the saddle. Nice, and look at him. Oh, it is a ginormous creature, too. Remember, the alphas are way bigger than the vanilla variants. Oh, but that is just so glorious. Look at yo, ducky. I love it. All right, I'm just going to wait for the uh, the storm to end, and let's start leveling this guy up. Let's see what he's made of. All right, guys, the storm has ended. Let's go on our first ride. I cannot wait. This thing is going to be monstrous. It, in all honesty, it might be our strongest creature yet, considering the level. Um, Let's go head on over to... Let's see where this one takes us. I always forget which terminal's which. Let's see, let's see. Um, not the one I wanted, but you know what? We'll deal with this one. We will deal with this one. I think it's a good place to start leveling up. All right, what do we got over here? Ooh, Alpha Dilo. All right, major levels. Let's not forget. Let's get the uh, level up potions in them. Sweet. All right, and first hit. One, th oh, that is so good. 1,800, that is a huge first hit. Now, mind you, we do have the uh, the better saddle on. So, you know, that's part of it. Dude, I love this. Tiger Alpha. That is such a cool name. Let's. What makes it a tiger? Is it the stripes on it, maybe? It might be. I don't know. Sometimes the shinies on the, uh, the creatures that have kind of like feathers or fur, sometimes it can be hard to distinguish. Oh, that is a beautiful looking Dilo. It's, it's a shame that it's only a 220. All right, let's start to level this guy up. Wow. Wow. All right, obviously, we're going to want to go max attack. We'll probably, after that, go into a good amount of carry weight because this guy's going to be a harvester. And whatever we have left over, we'll go into speed and health after that. All right, come here, bro. Nice. And for the boosting, where we're really going to collect a lot is uh, once we boost the special Therizinosaur stuff. I'm going to have to figure out which button does which for the harvests. Um, but uh, until then, because every mod is a little bit different on which uh, which key does harvests the most of certain stuff. So whether we go power or go uh, more delicate, we could do an even, even split. But sometimes it's better to once we get another Therizinosaur, have one be power and have one be uh, delicate. If you want to completely maximize. Oh, but of course, as a wood gatherer, this guy is going to be insane. Absolute insanity. All right. Um, we got some of our first. Oh, my goodness. That's so nuts. Um, yeah, this guy's not going to take that long to level up at all. All right. And beautiful. Let's go head over to the next obby. Let's see where that takes us. I want to go to the one that's kind of near the redwoods. I think we did the first one first. All right. Yes, this is where I wanted to go. So over here, there's a nice, nice big open field, I do believe. Is it this direction? Yep, this direction here. And I want to make my way. I want to start going into the winter biome so I can see what's up. Now, one thing I was noticing, um, unfortunately, oh, crap. 1.7 million. I don't think we're quite up to that yet. Um, I've been noticing we have not seen any ooh pygmy uh, we have not seen any tribes yet and uh the tribesmen i don't know what's going on why they're not spawning in um we might have to set up some type of simple spawners or something like that to be able to count for him um and of course with the fan server as well what we'll probably do is have like an event where like you know for the first week only the green tribe comes in and then slowly add in more Something like that, just to make it so that you do it in order to. But I'll probably have to figure something out like that on here. It's unfortunate because as new, because this mod has not been updated since uh, when? I think Apparition might have been the last time around then when it was updated. Um, oh. 
Um, you, uh, whenever Art does some type of goofy change, when all the mods stop working and the mod authors have to fix the mod, um, unfortunately, that doesn't happen for this mod. So likely something in Genesis uh, messed it up. Now, fortunately, the mod author Psycho is such a good mod author. Very little in this mod has broken. Um, just about the only thing is if you're playing, you have to block Alpha Rock Drakes. That will immediately crash a server, crash your game. But if you block that, that's about the only thing. And then you can use other mods that will allow the new Ingrams to come in. All right, let's see. How are we doing on this guy now? Dude, look at us tear through him. It's only a level 100 one, but holy crap. That was fast. That was super duper fast. This guy is really good. Really, really good. Oh. All right, let's take on all these guys. They resist like crazy. But I'm pretty impressed. We might be able to go ahead into the desert if it takes out a Bronto that quickly, and we're not even maxed out yet. Ooh, look at Anklo. Anklo! Oh, I wanna, I'm going to hold out for a higher level. This is probably better than the one we have already, but I'm going to hold out. All right, but yeah, skidding after the Dino Wipe. So many new things spawning in. And again, if I didn't say it already, you have to. If you want to get all the spawns, you have to do when you do a Dino Wipe, a Force Respawn. Basically, what that does is it, it makes all the different dinos, like it forces them to spawn in at the right percentages. Otherwise, if you just do a Dino Wipe and wait, it could take days, if not a week, to see everything start to spawn in. So, very important. Anyway, oh, one day we'll have an Alpha Griffin. One day. Until then, I should, that's actually a pretty good one. I probably should go after a normal one. Um, let me just see what they take to tame. Raw Primes? Mutton's the best. But yeah, a Griffin would not, not be bad. All right, let's make our way up here. Hmm, we could probably get it knocked out pretty easily, too. Let's just see where to go. I think it's way up top. Griffin, where are you? All right, let's head around here. Move it or lose it. All right, now being... Ooh, that's an alpha, I think. No, there's something that looked like an alpha there. Guess not. I think it was just my alpha glow. Crap, I think he's up there. Uh, all right, let's go fly up there. There can be definitely a lot of sketchy stuff. Up this way. Anywhere in the snow biomes, super sketch. Oh, you have a lot of stuff on you, bro. A real lot. All right, let's do a little pickup guy. Bada boom. And a lot of levels to boost in. That's probably already max. I've been noticing. I think maybe we need to lower the amount of XP that we get. It's a distinct possibility. I'm using the same levels that I do on the uh, the Doc series for this. It might be a little bit too high. But, all right. And, of course, we used XP boosters in a lot of these guys. The problem is a lot of these creatures, they just give so much more XP. All right, where'd it go? I know we have them somewhere. Oh, look at that. Allosaur, come here, bro. Let's see if we can get him. Come on, and, and we got him. Beautiful. All right, where's this griffin? Oh, I hope it's not dead already. That's a possibility too. All right, we got thornies and junk, junk, junk. Let's take care of them. Oh, all right, vulture. Come on, vulture. I really wish some of the guys, it's unfortunate they don't fly backwards. A lot of the flyers. And that's something that the mod author never got around to. All right, perfect. Oh, that's the one I want. That is the one I want. Um, we're probably, ooh, Allosaur Kibble's only two. Um, let's get them knocked out first. That would probably be the best the best thing. All right, um, Therizinosaur is on my shoulder. Let's, let's send Therizinosaur back home. Oh, uh, crap. All right. Uh, cave base. All right. And then let's get on our Dilo. I'm a little afraid that we could kill this guy. What? It, what is its health? What is your health, bro? Okay. It could take a couple of hits. 
Oh, maybe not that many hits. All right, could take one more. All right, we're gonna have to shoot it from here on out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I hit my guy. Oh, yo. Oh, I think I missed. We gotta wait for its health to, uh, to regen. All right. Oh, come on, baby. I can't see dumpling. <gasps> we got it. Oh, lucky day, lucky day. All right. Um, thank you, Dilo. You did good. All right. So let's go on to our RG now. You did good, bro. You, you took it like a champ. Oh, ooh, it actually got knocked out in a really good spot. Torpor is not falling all that fast, and it says aloe kibble. All right. For that, we're going to have to teleport back to the base. So hopefully it does not drop that quickly, which it doesn't look like it is. Now let's go make up two aloes. If I had the metal on me, I'd do it here, but I don't, so I won't. All right. And... Allo. All right, it says two. Why don't we go ahead and make five, six total. And one more. All right, three will be enough. Three will be enough. All right, perfect. All right, let's teleport back on in. And last remote location. Oh, how much I love teleporters. Boom. All right, and probably gonna wanna start this guy out. Oh, I can use, thank goodness, oh, I almost forgot. We can use this guy instead of the uh, the real expensive ones. All right, 100%. Yes! All right, it would have been even better if this guy was a shiny, but I'm not gonna complain. All right, let me on, let me on. All right, so this dude, there is no saddle, anything like that. Um, it is more or less a vanilla guy. In fact, it might even be a vanilla one. Um, just an extinction core, they, you know, a lot of the vanillas get redone. But yeah, I'm excited. That means we now have a flyer we can shoot off of. Absolutely huge. All right, sweet. Well, on that note, though, let's go hop back on our Therizinosaur. Look at you. You're all brown. I guess it's not a horrible looking one, though. I mean, I'm not the hugest fan of brown, but that's kind of cool. It's definitely kind of cool. All right. Awesome. Let's just fly somewhere where a Therizinosaur can, can handle it, and then we'll just teleport him back to us. Ooh, what is this over here? What do we got? Oh, you're purdy. You're real purdy. All right. Um, we'll just... Oh, crap. Those are kind of scary. These are really kind of scary. Oh, okay. We got to stay away from that. Let's just go ahead. We'll just get this guy with the RG. Come here, bro. Whenever you see an alpha, you got to decide, am I going to tame it or am I going to kill it? Because you need, absolutely need as much of those resources as possible. All right, let's do a little scouting real quick of this winter area. I am a little afraid we could potentially run into a Megapithecus. They're everywhere. All sorts of badness over here. Let's just see. We got a couple alphas. We got an alpha parasaur. Let's just go ahead and take him out. Come here, bro. I'm possibly eating some alpha raptors in here. All right, cool. Getting all those goodies. All right, let's make our way over. I don't know if I'm going to be okay with the uh, the armor that I have. It may not be good enough. It may not. But let's just head over here. There's a lot of goodies. Ah. Oh. Ragnarok is just such a beautiful map. I love this place. Now, also, because we have the small bosses mod, um, there's going to be Hydras in here. Yeah, Hydras in the series. I am so pumped about that. That, of course, is the model that comes from Atlas. But uh, I'm, I'm a little curious. I'm a little curious what it's going to be like. It's a huge pain in the neck tame. But we might be able to, uh, to handle it. Oh, is it bright over here? It is uber bright. 
I just want to make sure there's not any Mega Peas right in here. Oh, look at that. It's a Mech Rhino. Oh, oh you're cool. You are super duper cool. Oh, I want it. I want it so bad. All right, uh, we got it. We have to kill that guy for parts. Um, all right, let's first teleport over. Because remember, our trike was really good about that. I'll be able to kill him without harvesting him. All right, not a problem. And collect. Beautiful. We got the parts. Let's just pick up the trike. Let's bring on over the Therizinosaur. Awesome. Let's go pick up. Uh, I'm going to pick you up on my shoulder, bro, if you don't mind. Because it, oh, it doesn't have that much in its inventory. Let's just go like that. And like that. Awesome. All right. Let's go, Tiger. Let's go. Let's wreck some face. I saw another Alpha RG, I thought, over here. We definitely... Whoa, look at it. It's a mech... It's a mech bull. Can I kill you without harvesting you? Yeah, I can. All right, let's go get them. I cannot wait to get these mech creatures. Saving up little by little. We'll have to recheck it what exactly one cost. I remember it, it, it seemed like a lot. Like a real lot. I just don't remember. All right, let's go harvest. And we have to also stock up on pelt now that we're up here. Because you can see, I am getting the cold meter. And in certain places in Ragnarok, it is some of the coldest places in all of Ark. Um, you'll basically, you can already see right now my health is melting. We cannot hang out up here for extended, extended periods of time. Because we do not have health potions yet. Whoa, Wyvern. What kind? Fire Wyvern. That's a high level one. Not tameable. Come here, bro. Come here. Nice. All right. You're doing awesome. Let's just go ahead over here. I think that's a rock golem. Frozen elemental. Oh, I forgot about these. Yup. In extinction core, there's uh, the ice golems, and then there's also the fire ones. Let's just have a look at this guy. Isn't that amazing looking? Oh, you are a beautiful creature. Just look, uh, pay attention to the detail. Look when it moves. It's, I don't know, it's just like staring into, like, another dimension, the way, the way that it shows. Oh, you're so pretty. One day, bro, one day. Now, the cool thing about uh, an extinction core, you don't have to use cannons or, or catapults. You can actually use their special arrows. Um, and it works like, uh, you know, the type, of, the type of damage that would work on a golem. Uh, yeah, that type of arrow. Um, this is what I wanted. Let me just harvest them real quick. Oh, you're so purdy. Yeah, gimme, gimme. We're still at that stage where we need that stuff. All right, we got an alpha mammoth. All right, sweet. That's a level 81. Um, why don't we do for the very first time? Actually, let me let me finish pumping the levels into this guy. Let's get him to the max attack. So I might as well just do this real quick with you right now. So 40. 51, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, max attack. Uh, very nice. Let's get this up to like 10,000. Something so that we, we don't have to move, uh, do anything. Uh, let's get this up quite a bit. Let's get it to a nice round number. All right, that is at a million. And then we could do more carry weight, but I'm going to give him a little bit more speed. 111, very well rounded. I like it. All right, now comes the more annoying part. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do this right here, but uh, yeah, 304 available levels. And that's because of our, our chibis, our chibi, because of Dumpling. He gives us a couple extra levels. Um, let's go ahead, view, and I really think power is going to be where it's at. So I'm going to pump all, all of these into power. Yup. And, uh, yeah, let's go ham. All right, guys, I boosted 220 into power. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this does. I still have more levels I can do, but I just got sick of doing it. It got a little too dangerous to do it here. And, oh, 
That is nuts. Look at this. So that just harvest. Where where is it? I saw it. That was a ridiculous number. It just went up to, but oh, crazy, insane amounts of harvest. That is so good. Um, now it's possible. I just want to see. Watch it and see if it like goes up. It did a little bit. I have to check with the pelt. It's possible with the pelt that you got to do either the delicate or let's just see. So when I do C, now this one might count as the power on this guy. I'm not sure. All right, so that didn't get pelt, obviously. Uh, let's try on this rhino now. I know rhinos are big for pelt. Right click. Ooh, ooh. You might want the delicate for it. Might. Look at that, even my delicate attack, how much it hits for. All right, I know I haven't done any boosts into that. All right, let's just make sure the C, that only gets hide always. I didn't know if maybe it would be different. Then let's try in this guy. All right, what this does do is it gives a well-rounded amount of resources and it does go up. I definitely saw the, the pelt shoot up higher. So maybe the power is just as good but what seems to get the biggest boosts are the meat. I don't know, we'll, we'll definitely make one on both ways. So for now, that's gonna be what we have. And I am quite thrilled. We could do a little bit of delicate into them, but it would kind of be a waste. Anyway, I am pumped about this new Therizinosaur. Holy crap, there's just one last place that I wanna go peek. And winter, so far, as long as there's no bosses out here, it's not too bad. Oh man, I was having so much fun. Totally lost track of time. I think we're gonna have to call it here, guys. I wanted to go into the desert to, uh, to take on a whole slew of the bone dudes, but we'll just have to save that for next time. We did good today, though. Uh, we... <laughs> I can't talk today. We did good today. We got a max, and I'm talking max of the max level Therizinosaur, one of the most important creatures in Extinction Core. I am so thrilled about that. So lucky to find it. And we got our first Griffin. Yes. Griffins are awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And also, guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to check out the Discord. Yup, we got a sub server going. Yeah, it's for Extinction Core. So if you wanna be a part of it, make sure to find out how. Anyway, yes, link for Discord down below. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, peace out.